50 years ago, humans launched a small spacecraft into deep space. That machine, Voyager 1, was barely more advanced than a calculator. It ran on cassette tapes and old programming, never meant to last forever. Yet somehow, it's still working, still sending signals, still watching the stars. No one expected what came next, not NASA, not scientists, not even skeptics. Voyager 1 sent a signal that changed everything. He came from the edge of the solar system, or maybe beyond. The data inside didn't fit any known science. It wasn't just static. It had structure, a repeating, organized pattern that defied logic. Engineers monitoring Voyager say this data shouldn't exist. Something new entered human history. Something that shouldn't be possible. It began with a signal that should never have come back, but it did. Voyager had been silent for months. NASA thought it might be finally gone. Its systems are ancient, and the code is from a lost era. Yet it responded, a weak signal breaking through the cosmic silence. Engineers re-established contact using decades-old code. That alone was a miracle. But what followed was stranger. The signal contained more than system checks or telemetry. It had a pulse, like a heartbeat. Not from Voyager itself, but from near it. At first, scientists thought it was background noise. But the pattern was too clean, too exact. It wasn't echoing off planets or moons. It came directly from interstellar space, beyond the sun's influence. Voyager crossed into that region in 2012. Now, plasma readings were far higher than predicted. Plasma, made of charged particles, moved in waves instead of random motion, waves that matched Voyager's outgoing signal schedule. That implied something was responding, not in radio, but in plasma. More alarming, the waves seemed to follow Voyager's path. The spacecraft was no longer drifting alone. It was either being followed or guided. NASA reanalyzed old data and found subtle anomalies stretching back over a decade. Magnetic shifts, minor signal drops, all previously dismissed. Now they formed a trail, like Voyager was on a drawn path. On September 5th, the anniversary of Voyager's launch, a signal spike occurred. Buried in noise, it took quantum filters to isolate. What they found was a perfect frequency drop-off, too precise to be natural. It resembled a countdown. Physicist Dr. Nina Krauss said, Nature doesn't keep time like this. Something was marking the moment, recognizing the date. Then came something even stranger. A hidden, constant frequency in Voyager's signal. No matter what the main signal did, this frequency stayed the same. Once extracted and amplified, it revealed a three-dimensional spiral, a perfect Fibonacci pattern. That doesn't happen in space naturally. But there it was, embedded deep inside Voyager's signal. It echoed the design on Voyager's golden record, a spiral map of Earth's location in the galaxy. Scientists began to believe this was a reply. Global teams ran simulations. Flipping the spiral backwards revealed an inverted frequency, matching a forgotten signal from Voyager 38 years ago. That old transmission had been dismissed as a test calibration. Now it was back, like a boomerang from deep space. Dr. Leon Harrow said, this changes everything. Either space can echo a signal for decades, or something remembered. The signal didn't just bounce, it was preserved, repeated, and returned with intent. Then on June 5, 2025, Voyager went silent. No data, no static, nothing. NASA called it temporary. But space scientists disagreed. The silence lasted exactly 12 minutes and one second. That kind of precision isn't how failures happen. During those 12 minutes, radio telescopes worldwide picked up ultra-low frequency bursts. They didn't come from Voyager's direction, but from a point slightly inward toward the solar system, 2.7 degrees off its trajectory. Scientists converted the pulses into sound and found something chilling, a heartbeat pattern. But this time, it wasn't Voyager's. It matched a human pattern. This discovery pushed researchers deeper. A scientist from CERN compressed the latest signal and used quantum encryption filters. What she found stunned everyone, 
Deep inside the data were glyph-like mathematical structures. Not letters. Not language. But organized, symmetrical forms that followed mathematical rules. Not random. Intentional. Even more disturbing, some of these structures matched ancient cave carvings, especially from early star-watching cultures. The match was strong enough to create a new field of study, astroarchaeology. Some began to wonder, what if Voyager didn't discover something new, but rediscovered something ancient? An international research group revisited old James Webb Space Telescope data. Years ago, it recorded unexplained gamma spikes. At the time, they were ignored. But matched against Voyager's path, those spikes aligned with a fixed, invisible point in space. That place is now called the Watcher Point. It holds no visible star or object. Yet it emits faint radiation bursts on a fixed schedule. It's as if something there is waiting. And Voyager is heading directly toward it. Dr. Akira Toy from Japan's space agency proposed that this might be the first true contact with a machine intelligence not built by us, but one embedded in the universe itself. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.